time for your Bloomberg Quick Take, where we dive into the context and background to various issues. Data today showing April housing starts and building permits came in lower than expected. So let's bring you more on the topic. Home ownership, it's a big part of the American self-image. And because of that, the U.S. government provides a lot of support. This includes federal income tax deductions for mortgage interest and property taxes. The U.S. also employs programs to keep interest rates low by reducing the risks that mortgage lenders take on. Many countries have higher rates of home ownership. Few underwrite it to the same extent. Here's the situation. In 2016, the U.S. home ownership rate stood at 63.5%, where it was two decades ago. The tight credit market is preventing many renters from taking advantage of the recovery, as are rising prices. Before becoming U.S. Treasury Secretary, Steven Mnuchin said it was a priority for President Donald Trump to end government control of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, which are the largest providers of mortgage funds. Now, Mnuchin has not yet said what he wants Fannie and Freddie to become. Last week, President Trump said he would offer a tax reform package that would keep the federal tax break for interest paid on mortgages. However, he would eliminate the deduction for payment of state and local taxes, including property taxes. Here's the background. The home ownership rate in the U.S. is neither high nor low by international standards. Contrary to conventional thought, high home ownership doesn't really appear to be a sign of economic health. Owning a home limits the ability of job seekers to move. It adds to commute times and can hamper business formation. Former Soviet bloc countries tend to have high rates because they simply handed over their public housing to residents. Here's the argument. While the crash showed how risky buying a home can be, the housing industry and consumer advocates say home ownership can put families on a path to financial stability by forcing savings, providing a place to retire and allowing for appreciation. It also makes for involved citizens and lower crime. Others say stock market investments have historically been a better way to build that nest egg. You can read more about the housing market and all of our quick takes at NI Quick on the Bloomberg.